Welcome to our lecture online. Of course, they're not all that simple, even when the denominators are the same. Quite often, there's still going to be some factoring involved and some simplification, but let's see how that would be done again. If the denominators are the same, we simply add or subtract the numerators as they're written. So this is going to be as follows. We have x squared plus 5 plus x squared minus 13 all over the same common denominator of x minus 2. So that hasn't changed. We simply add the two numerators together and write them over the same common denominator. Now we simplify the numerator by collecting common terms. So x squared plus x squared is 2x squared and 5 minus 13 is minus 8 all over x minus 2. So now the next thing is to factor what's in the numerator and simplify as much as possible. So this is equal to 2 times x squared minus 4 over x minus 2. And now we realize that in the numerator we have the difference of squares. So this can be written as 2 times x plus 2 times x minus 2. In the denominator we have an x minus 2. So notice that these are common. So we can go ahead and simplify that. So this can now be written as 2 times x plus 2. Same with the one on the left. Again, we see that the denominators are the same, so we can simply add the two numerators. So this becomes 2y plus 2 over the same common denominator of y squared minus 2y minus 3. And then we can factor the numerator and the denominator. So this would be equal to 2 times y plus 1 in the numerator. And in the denominator, we're going to have a product of two binomials. This means we have a y and a y. Negative and positive, uh, negative, negative means one is positive, one is negative. The two numbers multiplied together gives us negative three, added together gives us negative two. So let's see here, hmm, how about a negative three and a positive one? So y times negative three is negative three y plus y is negative two y. So that works out. Now we can see that a y plus one and y plus one cancels. This becomes one, this becomes one. So this is equal to two divided by y minus 3 as this simplified form. So again, if the denominators are the same, it's not that difficult. But we still typically will have to factor and simplify just like we did before, but that is how it's done.